everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. In this video, I want to play with some of my old favorites, especially the eyeshadow palette. It's been a while since I've used this palette and it's been one of my favorites, but since I've been trying new eyeshadow palettes and new makeup, I want to revisit some of my old favorites. I mean, we have all this makeup, so why not play with it? So the palette that I'm talking about is this one by Too Faced, the Born This Way, the Natural Nudes palette. This one was one of my favorites and still is. I just haven't used it for at least maybe six, seven, eight months, maybe longer. Too Faced described this as, this eyeshadow's filled up with modern nude hues inspired by the beautiful nuances found in skin tones. So to refresh our memory, this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. And I've always liked how they arrange this palette to where you have the matte and the metallic in the same tones on top of each other. I really did like that. I know this may look like a boring basic palette, but I really do like this. It has beautiful tones in here. There's a couple of cool tones, a couple of warm tones, but it's pretty neutral. And you have some beiges, some rosy tones, and some deep berry tones. So I don't think that this is a basic or boring palette at all. And a blush that I haven't used in a while, a foundation, and some other things. So I thought I might revisit some of my old favorites in this video. But anywho, let's go back to the eyeshadow palette. This one does cost $49 and it's still available. And what brought me to use this palette is that I saw that they are making a new palette, Too Faces. Let me pull it up on my phone because I did see it on Trim Mood, Instagram's post. So the new eyeshadow palette by Too Faced is called the Sunset Strip. And it has their own collection with the eyeshadow palette and some bronzers. I know I'm not going to get the bronzers because I haven't used them in years. I think I only tried one way back in the day when I started using makeup, more into makeup. Weren't my favorite so I'm not going to pick up those. They're also coming out with some lip injections. Not going to pick up that one. But I am interested in the new Sunset Strip eyeshadow palette. I believe that's coming out March 31st, so quite a bit of ways. But anywho, let me go ahead and do a live swatch of this palette. Just kind of refresh my memory here. Let me roll up my sleeves. So how I'm going to swatch them is going from top to bottom, top to bottom. So let's go with the first one, Swan. I have to admit that they are very powdery. They are pigmented and they blend out very nice. Next one is Glistening Snow. Beautiful. This one's Shimmering Pearl. And the matte shade under that is Seashell. This is Nude. Sparkling Sand. Rose Gold. And then underneath Rose Gold is Petal. Here is Warm Rose. And the metallic shade underneath that is Sparkling Rum. Now this one's one of my favorite shades, Golden Light. That is just a beautiful, like a rose gold. More on the gold side, but you can see the rose in there. And the matte shade underneath that is Maple. Beautiful shade. This one is Cocoa. And I think this is the metallic shade that I want to use, Sugar Chestnut. Yeah, I think I want to play with that shade. And another one of my favorite shades, Sparkling Sable. This is in the last column. Beautiful metallic shade. I know my veins are in the way. <laughs> and then the last shade is Truffle. And hopefully I could swatch it without my veins being in the way. There you go. At least I tried. <laughs> so here are the shades in this palette. Oh, let me move my shirt. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so here are the shades that are in this palette. And it does look a little light for my skin tone, but when you blend it out, it looks very pretty, very versatile. Let me go and prime my eyes with the Hourglass Eyeshadow Primer, and I know you've seen this in many, many videos. And I started using the one by Smashbox, and we used that a couple times. Probably could have used that, but I didn't want to use anything new in this video. So let me go ahead and prime my eyes. Probably should have my hair up, because I know this is going to be in my way. I didn't want to come on here with my hair not done already. Just trying to do something different. So let me go ahead and start out with this shade, Petal. I'm going to use one of my old favorite brushes by Sonia G, the Detail Pro. I haven't used this one in a long time either. So again, it's very powdery. You tap off the excess. Let me just apply that here. This one just gives me a hint of color. Let me go ahead and kind of flare that out the outer corner there. Another one of my favorite blushes, the Classic Crease, also by Sonia G. And let's go into the shade Warm Rose and just place that in the crease a little bit below the first shade. Just to hopefully give me that gradient effect. And if you want more pigment on your lids, you don't need to tap it off that much. So yeah, this time I'm not going to tap it off 
and then let's apply it and you can see that there's more pigment on the brush to spread out. Going back in the first brush with the first shade petal and just blend that out so there's no lines between those two shades. Going in to use another matte, this shade Coco, and going in with the Crease Pro, also by Sonia G, and again, just going lower from that. Just kind of flare it out too. Kind of concentrate in the outer part. I don't want to go all the way in to the inner corner of my eye, I mean. Going in with another one of my old time favorites, the Mini Booster by Sonia G. Haven't used this one in a long time. I'm going to go in with this dark matte shade Truffle and then pack that on the outer corner. Now let's go in with the first brush and just blend everything out with no product on it. Oh, my hair. Now let's go into this beautiful metallic shade, Sugared Chestnut. I'm gonna use my finger, and that's a pretty, I guess you would say it's a bronzy, rose bronze. Instead of a rose gold, it's more of a rose bronze. I'm gonna use the pencil one also by Sonia G, and I'm gonna go in with Let's see, which one do I want for the inner corner? Let's go with this shade. Let's see here, I believe it's Sparkling Gold. Shimmering Pearl. Let's go back in with Sugar Chestnut and just kind of fuse those two shades together. And let's go back into Truffle to build out the outer corner. All right, I think that will do it for this look. I'm gonna go ahead and clean underneath my eyes and there's no fallout underneath. Just a little bit from using my finger, that's all. You know, I forgot my rose hip seed oil. Let me be right back and get that. Whenever I clean underneath my eyes, I always feel like I'm taking away moisture. So I go back in with some more moisture and I'm using the ordinary rose hip seed oil. I just put a little bit underneath my eyes just to help my old eyes here. And it plays well with makeup. So don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna use with the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I haven't used this in a while. And here is what it looks like, a white cream. Very reasonably priced. I wanna say that it's under $20, I believe. Of course, I'll list and link everything down below for you guys. But this is a very nice primer. Another one of my favorites that I haven't used in a while is this primer by e.l.f. and it's the Poreless Putty Primer. This really does blur my pores. And it comes in a paste and just apply that, pat that on my pores. For concealer, I'm gonna use the one by Clay de Poe. I have it in two shades, buff and hazelnut. Let me give you the exact name of this concealer. I call it the clicker concealer. This is the radiant corrector for the eyes. So let me go in with buff first. You just click it. <laughs> just love that sound. And I haven't used this one in a while, so I thought I might use it this time. Buff, I always like to put it in the inner and the outer corner. And for hazelnut, I like to put that in the center. Using another Sonia G brush, this is the concealer. I believe the soft concealer. And of course, just blend out the concealer with this. And I do love this concealer. It's kind of right up there with the new one that I've been trying, the one by Sisley. Love that concealer. I believe I would rank this one as just like right underneath the Sisley concealer, right underneath it. For the foundation, another product by Clay de Poe. This is the Radiant Fluid Foundation in Matte. I've been using the newer one, the Natural Foundation more. So I haven't been using the Matte Foundation. So let's go ahead and use this in the shade 060, just like in the Natural Foundation. Here is how that looks like. And this one is a skincare foundation, which I really do like those. Now this one does have an SPF of 20. Oh, and I forgot to show you, the brush that I'm using is one by BK Beauty. I haven't been using this brush in a while because I've been using the one by Koyudo. And this Clay de Poe foundation just spreads out very nicely. And using this brush also by BK Beauty. Very nice. For under the lash line, let's go into this shade Warm Rose. And I'm using the brush that's in the Dose of Colors, Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. Love this brush for underneath the eyes. You know, I just thought of this. Let me go in with this shade Maple. Let's add some, a little bit of a warmness to this look. And of course, let's go in with this deep shade Truffle. Place that in the outer corner. For brows, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow. I haven't used this one in a while. And this is in the shade four. Of course, one side does have a spoolie. 
And I'll try to zip through this. Always like to cover my gray hair, so I'm using this tinted brow gel by Suku, the shade one. Went ahead and lined my upper lash line with the Sicily eyeliner pen just to kind of save for time because that could be kind of boring. But for my waterline and the lower lash line, I want to show you this one. It's by Milk. They don't make this one anymore, unfortunately. And this one was one of my favorites, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It's a shame they don't make this one anymore because this one really stays in the waterline. This one is a deep black pencil too. Let me show it to you. It's very creamy goes on very smooth but unfortunately they do not make this one anymore and Mary from Glitzy Fritzy loves this pen that's how I found out about it or this pencil so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my waterline and do the lower lash line now for mascara I'm gonna do this one off camera too because that could be kind of boring but of course my favorites this one by Lancome Mr. Big gonna use this one and this one that I haven't used a while and I just opened it it's by Uma Beauty the extreme volume nourishing mascara this mascara really does make my lashes is big, longer, fuller, without flaky. But again, I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be right back. Yeah, I miss this mascara. This really does give me the length, gives me the thickness without clumping and without flaking. All the mascaras that I've been using now, I'm just trying to use them up, like the one by Sisley, Hourglass, some of the samples. But now I can finally get back to some of the ones that I really do love. And this is one of them. Of course, the one by, let's see, Lanco Mr. Big. Love this one too. Love to pair these two together. Let me show you the wand. It has an hourglass shape wand. Hope you can see that. It costs $19.50, under $20. Okay, for bronze, I'm going to go in with this one by Charlotte Tilbury. Haven't used this one in quite a while. This is the Airbrush Bronzer in shade 3. And I'm going to use the Indochine, another one by Sonya G. Haven't used this one in a while. Let me swatch this bronzer if y'all are interested in. Let me use my other hand here. Here is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer number three. For blush, I haven't used this one in a long time, and it's one of the Cheek Pops from Clinique. This is in the shade Big Pop, beautiful shade. This one was one of my go-to. Let's use it today. And Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Cares Chats, she mentioned this blush, and yeah, love the shade. Let me see if I can swatch this blush here. Beautiful, very pretty. For highlighter, this one by ABH. Can't find this one anymore, they don't make it. It's the Amrezy highlighter. It's more of a gold highlighter and I kind of like those. That highlights there. I always like to go underneath my brows. And let's put some on the nose. Let me swatch this highlighter for you guys. But yeah, unfortunately, they don't make this one anymore. I'm surprised because it's very nice. It was very popular back in the day. Now for powder, let's go to one of my favorites. Haven't used this one in a while. It's by Hourglass. And it's the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but it does have the letter H there. And using the brush by Hourglass. And let's try to stop the glare here. Here's one side, just going right here in my oily spots. You know what? I forgot to bring lipstick because I didn't know which shade to bring, didn't know what look I was going to use. So let me go ahead and find a lipstick and I'll be right back. Found a lipstick and it's one that I haven't used in a while so I'm hoping it's still good. It's by Charlotte Tilbury and it was in the Hot Lips 2 collection. This is in the shade Glowing Gin. So here is Glowing Gin. It's in the Kissing Formula. And I did a video on these and I need to go back and see the shades again. I haven't bought Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in... Gosh, I think this was my last one that I bought. Let's go ahead and use the one by Charlotte Tilbury and this is in the shade Hot Gossip. And let me swatch this one. I think this will work with Glowing Gin. Yeah, I think that would work. I might as well keep going with Charlotte Tilbury with the lips. But no, I don't have her lip gloss. Now let's go in with Glowing Gin. And she describes this one as a tawny beachy rose. Yeah, I do need to come back to this lipstick. Yeah, you know, it's coming back to me. This is a very pretty shade and it still smells good. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment, please. Yeah, I guess I do need to go back into my favorites and start using those again. Let me go ahead and use this lip gloss, my favorite, by Hourglass. Haven't been using this one in a while. And this one's in the shade Ignite. You just put that over Glowing Gin. And here's Ignite, the lip gloss by Hourglass. 
Let me try to fluff up my hair. It's getting kind of flat today. It's not working with me. All right, here is the finished look using my old favorites. And yeah, I love this eye look. I love the palette and I'm glad I'm using it again. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of new releases and I'm still trying to be on that low buy. Just getting the ones that I really do want. And I know having this channel, you wanna see how products look on me, on my skin tone, on my skin type, and on my mature skin, but I am keeping that in mind. But I'm also trying to, you know, try to keep a budget, just like every one of you guys are. And I do have some new makeup that I've had for a while that I haven't used yet. The new palettes by Suku. And I also picked up a couple of the eyeshadow pots from Victoria Beckham and some of her cheek sticks. And let's see here, a couple palettes from Vive Beauty. I haven't touched those. But I still want to use some of my old favorites, especially the eyeshadows. Like I said, we have all this makeup, might as well use it. And if y'all have any suggestions of palettes that y'all want me to use, please leave a comment down below because this is kind of fun. I like going back to, like I said, my favorites of way back when. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked and enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.